Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we have a high elf mirror match between Knighthood and Black Knight. Knighthood changes his names a lot, but um, yeah, that is he. Both of them are high elf mains, though Knighthood Knighthood has much more varied builds than Black Knight tends to. In my making a build video, I did mention the Black Knight method. He tends to stick to the same general construct of a build and improving his play from there. Now, he did actually switch it up having a White Lion of Kray's frontline rather than his Spearmen and no backup archers, but otherwise it is the core roots. Five White Lions of Kray's, Imric on his dragon, a foot mage of life with regrowth and earthblood, one bolt thrower, and triple dragon princes. On the other side for Knighthood, we have some Malirian Reaver archers. Is it just two or are there more? It looks like two. Two Laird Reaver archers, two dragon princes of his own, the Storm Riders, Lothern Sea Guard. And then Silver and Guard, the Pure Main Company, a Frostheart Phoenix, and an Archmage of Metal on a Moon Dragon. Found Transmutation and Plague of Rust. And we are off. Storm Riders, uh, running away from the Dragon Princes a bit, get caught out just a smidge out of formation, so they were not braced in any capacity. And it looks like we're getting a final transmutation onto two units here. Is a little bit of a rebuttal. Final transmutation will do some damage to them while they're also getting charged by Dragon Princes, but it's mostly a single entity damaging spell, so I don't know if that was particularly worth the Winds of Magic, unfortunately. Storm Riders still getting harried by these White Lions and the Bolt Thrower, which is strangely obstructed, even though that whole unit is very visible. But now they're just going to shoot a Cavalry, which is fine. Himmerich is on the ground. We want to be careful of the double Aerial Goon Squad. Archmage of Metal is not nearly as good of a combatant as he is, but paired with the Frostheart Phoenix... Uh, it could be a nasty 2v1 as a big breath attack is going to take eh, a third of the health off those white lines of craze. Not bad. Frontline fight has been engaged, though Black Knight is sending most of his troops up on that northern side, really leaving these two Silver and Guard to do just nothing, which is fine for him. I mean, he doesn't want them to participate. Emmerich is now fighting the Frostar Phoenix. It briefly had Lord of Dragons on it, but that has since passed. More Dragon Princes are trying to opt into the fight, help out a little bit. But they're not going to do crazy amounts of damage on the charge up through their own troops. They will find it a little difficult to participate in this fight as it currently stands. We're just doing some infantry grind killing for now. As a, oof. Another counter Dragon Prince charge and the double single entities tear outing off the white lines of Kreis, pushing them away. As that sun on the banner is very, very glowy. A lot glowier than I would like. Storm Riders are pushed off, and Dragon Princes are trying to get into that back line, really harass the Illyrian Reaver archers. While they're not doing a ton of damage, the Illyrian Reaver, Ar Illyrian Reaver archers are still something you have to deal with. There it is. Nice Plague of Rust Overcast, making the Dragon Princes only have 50 armor. Dragon Princes have insane stats, but they have no armor piercing. Oh well, not none, but not a majority armor piercing. So lowering their, their armor down to 50 lets the green... Dragon Princes really cut through them, which is nice. Meanwhile, Imric and his White Lions getting through the other Dragon Princes as best he can. I haven't seen a Breath Attack from Imric yet. I've seen two from the Mage, but not from him. He's been mostly on the ground fighting things out. Bolt Thrower is still left online to fire at the Illyrian Reavers. I'm sure it's quite happy about that situation. And Imric's Dragon Princes are once again Plague of Rusted or still Plague of Rusted. I'm not sure, but they are really not having a good time. Emmerich's taking a fight against those aerial units. He is alone. He does not have range support of any kind. Maybe the Bolt Thrower could start shooting up there, but it is definitely just not doing that at the moment. Frostar Phoenix is not having a good time fighting Emmerich. I don't think he's received too much healing either. There's probably a regrowth left in reserve for him if he needs it. Which, for now, he'll back off of that Archmage of Metal. Speaking of which, the green High Elves do have literally zero healing? Yeah, nothing on this roster is healing right now. Which could be a problem. Emmerich is going to use his first breath attack of the game onto the Silver and Guard, though it misses them almost completely and barely tickles some Dragon Princes. Final Transmutation is cast on the ground. He does need to get out of that circle. It is not attached to him, so he can leave, but... Yeah, he's starting to leave now. There he goes. He does need healing soon. Two of the Dragon Princes for Red are rather healthy. One is quite injured. How are we doing on the green side? Two Dragon Princes... Pretty damaged. Two Lane Reavers. One is full health, the other is quite damaged, and their infantry is not feeling great. The three Silver and Guard are really their last vestiges of strength, which is a problem for Red, admittedly. 
most of their damage is from their large targets. The final breath attack from the Moon Dragon does really good damage onto Imric's Dragon Princes. And Earth Blood for him and the Dragon Princes will help out as Lord of Dragons is popped on those guys, giving him 5 melee attack and 21 melee defense. But the two single entities will land on top of Imric, chasing him around, and it now might be a duel of the dragons as an overcast of Plague of Rust lowers him to 30 armor. Get out of this pile of Dragon Princes, but it's really not working out for him, though they are close to terror routing away, so maybe that could help him out. And he does have a full health Dragon Prince that looks like it's angling to hop right in there and save him. There they go. So he should be fine. He should be able to get through them. No real issue there. Bolt Thrower is still firing, still has plenty of ammunition, considering what state in the game we are in. And this single target shooting at the Frostar Phoenix probably wants to refocus on the Archmage of Metal. She has a way bigger target, an easier target to hit overall. Imric is frostbitten. Too slow to get away from that bird, but looks like the bird doesn't really want any of this. Which I can understand. Imric's probably going to get healing soon. It's just not that good of a melee combatant on its own versus him. Like, versus him is a key word there. 74, 56 for stats. Imric is wildly expensive, but he is really good at fighting stuff. Dragon Prince's terror routing in the backfield. White Lions of Christ trying to get in there, trying to fight for now, but their leadership will not hold for very long considering how low on HP they are. And Imric's just helping to snipe out some of the Silver and Guard, which is actually a really good use of his time. The Silver and Guard have been a problem, so getting them to tear out and run away, presenting their backs to the White Lions and Dragon Princes, allowing them to get chased off, is, is quite huge. Well, Imric is just buying time till he can get a regrowth. He has plenty of heal cap left, and this mage has not spent all of her Winds of Magic. There it is. There's a regrowth. Is it overcast? It better be. Nah, it's just undercast. Still good, but not as good as I wanted. Moon Dragon Lady is very healthy. Frostheart Phoenix has seen better days. And for the Green High Elves, it's their supporting units that are feeling the real burn. They have one healthy Alarian Reaver, and that is that is it. The rest of their army is in extreme tatters. So Imric is healing up. As for his support, he does have a half-health White Lion of Christ, so he has the healthiest infantry left on the map. And two very wounded Dragon Princes who might get some Earthbloods coming back their way. Don't really see anything else. And of course he does have his Bolt Thrower just offering that constant bit of support, that constant bit of pressure. Lyran River Archers trying to get a little bit of damage onto Imric while they can, though the one with ammunition is at such a low model count, its DPS is going to be insignificant, to be honest. And that Bolt Thrower is just constantly poking down the Archmage of Metal now, which is fine. Seven volleys left for him. And I think the red team wants to stall this game for now. Their Bolt Thrower is getting nice free value. Imric is waiting on more healing, so are the Dragon Princes, so time is in their favor. They are doing a final engagement. Imric goes for a breath attack, but a good dodge from the Archmage of Metal and an Earth Blood onto all these units is going to help out. I think it hit both of the Dragon Princes. Yes, it did. Final Transmutation, though, countering from the Archmage of Metal will be a pain in the ass for the red side. Everything they have gets hit besides that Dragon Prince that's terror routing. And she is going to land on Imric, getting good damage down. Lord of Dragons is popped onto her, giving her 10 and 20 for melee stats, which is very meh. But Green lost all their Dragon Princes. Everything has run away from them. They now are relying just on their two single entities to try and win this fight. They, of course, have an almost full health Illyrian Reaver in the distance. That's almost out of ammunition, but should be joining soon. Imric's getting very, very low. Dragonhorn pop to give him more melee stats and all of his guys some melee stats. His Life Mage is terror routing. He is so close to routing, but he's beating the brakes off that Archmage right now. But the Lyran Reavers are finally going to shut down the Eagle Claw Bolt Thrower after firing all game. Imric is doing his very best, but he is going to route. And without him, army losses is probably going to hit. There's an animated attack from the two dragons. And nice little Earthblood does heal him up. It doesn't matter if he's not allowed to come back. And it doesn't look like he will be. That Frostar Phoenix is keeping him nice and slow. And that Moon Dragon's trying to attack him right now. Ooh. Illyrian Reavers are trying to chase these Dragon Princes, but they could be chasing into White Lions of Grace. The Frostar Phoenix is going to go after America. Okay, that's fine. Wow, what the hell? Eagle Claw Bolt Thrower actually held back the Illyrian Reavers and is going to get online again. That's a little crazy. Metal Mage is on the ground versus these White Lions and the Mage of Life. She only has 2,700 HP, which when you're surrounded by infantry on a dragon, you're going to take a lot of damage. Frostar Phoenix is still after Imric. The Bolt Thrower crew fighting a second unit of Illyrian Reavers. This one is going to take them out. 
Yeah, and if Emmerich somehow managed to come back, then that would maybe turn the fortunes of the red team, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen as he just straight up dies. And with one charge in from the Phoenix and the Moon Mage, those little high elves in the center will die off. GG. Pretty cool mirror. Two very different ways of trying to do this matchup. 3,500 for the Metal Mage. Frostheart Phoenix and Dragon Prince is also doing quite well. Silver and Guard and the White Lions did fine. The Illyrian Reavers did good. Bond and Seaguard struggled a little bit. For Black Knight, Imric did okay. He did okay. He was fighting a lot, but not getting a ton of damage out. His Dragon Princes also struggled to get the same value as the other side. Um, White Lions did okay. Boltrow did great. Mage of Life did very well. GG. Subscribe, yes, yes.